All right, well, I ran out of dirt down there. Just run into nothing but rocks. So, uh, I tried to go up the hill a little bit and every which direction around the, the original cut over there. And every which way I go, I just run into rock. So we're gonna come up here, open this up. <clears throat> and uh, right here where I'm sitting at, I've done a pretty good test hole right here. And, it looked pretty promising. Uh, of course, that down there did too when we first started on it. But, uh... Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get some dirt out of this hole. I know one thing, you can sure tell summer's here. I think it's already... 90 something degrees, 96 or something like that. Feels like 107. Sure don't miss the days of not having anything with a, without a uh, with a cab on it. I don't know how in the world I've done it sometimes, but. One thing I was worried about when I opened this up, I don't know how well you can see it from there, but it ain't that deep here, so I think we ought to get a little bit more usable clay out of here. There are a couple little small rocks, but they ain't, they ain't nothing to worry about. A rock here and there on your, on your field ain't gonna hurt anything, but you just can't, the big ones ain't gonna, uh, ain't gonna work. You'll never get, get them compacted. You'll have problems with the pad shifting as it settles throughout the years. Uh, it's just little rocks like this one. Right there, y'all probably can't even see. Right there is another one. And little rocks like that, they ain't hurt nothing. As long as they had a whole pile of them all together. Cause they got, you can actually, uh, when you compact them, it'll, it'll smash those on in, in the ground where those big ones, they, they won't compact. Put y'all on time lapse and move some dirt. Back on this building pad, you know, starting to run low on dirt again. I, I left a little bit high up here. One thing I didn't want to drop off coming up with a dump truck loaded. Uh, having that in mind of cutting it down and rolling it over. And what I've done there is I went ahead and uh, 
it's got the trench through there on gray. Uh, and it kind of feathers out to the wrong grade here about in the, in the middle. So what I've done is I cut that down as far as I could go. I hit rock up there in the corner up there where the transit is. And uh, so that's as far down as I could, I could go. So I've had this much more dirt to be able to fill in over here on this low side. Anyway, that's game plan here today. Take this ditch and cut it back on gray and just kind of roll it over. Uh, Turner will be here in a minute. He's going to grab some kids here. Start shoving this dirt out of my way as I start tossing it out here to him. And uh, yeah, we'll start filling it off the side there. Track it in as we go. And hopefully, hopefully it's dirty gets a little bit further down to, I don't know, maybe 20, 20 loads, dump truck loads, being able to have enough. I don't want to get, get all that, and then we'll take his top soil and roll that back up here and kind of tether the edge down through there. Um, don't, don't got a lot of soil to work with but we're gonna make it happen get over here and get, get that up and start doing a little bit of get digging Here now it's all clumpy, so it has the 
back it down a little bit. All right, I get back over here with dump truck and load of dirt on it. It'll get packed in there. Kind of hogging a little bit of dirt out of here. Then I'll come back and uh, cut the last few inches. Yeah, 
equipment up there. We cut it, cut it down there yesterday. Show it back in there. He's running across it with a dump truck. Loaded, you talk about doing some good compression. Here kind of got it dug out real shallow. That's where ran into solid rock. 
and that rock continues on all the way over here this and uh, I don't leave a whole lot of a whole lot of dirt I didn't like I just go dig one spot and get the clay out of it and be able to fill it back in uh, right now what I'm going to run into is uh, not going to have enough dirt to fill these holes back in so I have to scrape and scrounge and everything else try to find find dirt to be able to fill all this stuff back in Been a challenge. Uh, I don't. I don't mind that. Uh, sure, uh, we'll get a lot quicker and easier. Uh, just been able to have a hole just to get the dirt we need, and make a pond out of it. But uh, this stuff, uh, it's like gravelly stuff. We've had some rain and stuff since I've been over here on this project. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you could ever get in cold water. Uh, there used to be one over there where I scraped that dirt. I was going to re dig that pond. But uh, after I found out that it wasn't a couple feet deep and they hit rock and, and everything, so there wasn't. no dirt to be had there so that's why we tried to go over here uh, this corner and uh, I dug the chest hole probably well, about where I got those rocks uh, piled up down there uh, in the hole and uh, I, I dug it down about as deep as I could reach the machine find any rocks, dug around a couple of other little spots, you know, just a couple of feet here and there. I was like, okay. You know, so I kind of figured I'd run into a few rocks, but nothing like what I did. But that's still where the majority of the dirt came from. Get, get worried that 
get to the point where it might have been costing more money. But, uh, we're still, still in the good. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try to finish scratching out these last few, few loads I'm going to need to get the pad laid out. And then, uh, get all that compacted in there. Shoot the grade on it, get it, get it tidied up a little bit, and then uh, start working on getting the slope uh, dug in, filled in around it. Uh, I'll probably have to steal some more topsoil. I'm trying to fill this hole in here that I'm digging out of now. That one there, uh, I think we're going to wait wait on that one. Yeah. Might be able to try to do, do something with it, make something out of it. Uh, I don't know, if we get it to hold water, it'd make a real nice pond. Especially that, that, that gigantic rock up there, make like a, almost like a little bit of fishing pier or a dock. It'd be pretty cool. I don't know, we might have to get some bentonite or maybe, maybe haul it in a good, better place somewhere, just enough to seal it up. I don't know, that's, that's another project for another day. Main goal, we gotta get get this pad done so they can start building and uh, so we ain't holding nobody else up. While they're up there doing their thing, I can be worried about this other stuff, trying to get these holes dealt with. Alright, so I finally got it out to 100 foot um, on this building pad. I've got finished packing her down here on this edge. We're going to come back later and, and uh, we're going to fill this back in and uh, we'll get all this slicked up. And probably going to do some more fill on either side, but uh, we're probably going to try to make that into a pond here at some point. But uh, Right now we gotta get uh, builders out here, and uh, they're gonna get get the building pinned down where where it's gonna go. Uh, I think they should have plenty plenty of room to do what they gotta do, get it pinned down. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of stop where we're at and you know, figure out exactly where it's gonna be because we don't want to be moving dirt. We don't have to. Uh, we ain't got no extra dirt to work with. Having you know trouble getting enough dirt to do what we got to do, so uh, we'll make sure every every bit of it counts. But uh, so we're probably gonna have to leave it off on this for a little while, and, and uh, they'll come out and get it pinned down. What we're gonna, where we're gonna put the building at? We'll probably go ahead and get the pad pulled, and uh, I still got this pile of dirt up up there that's going to go over in this corner over here and kind of fade that out over there blend that in um, end up with pretty good drop off here uh, we'll come back i don't know depends on where they set the building at you know i'll be able to pull some of this down 
and uh, we'll push some of that up and you know, try to blend it. But right now, I want to make sure I got plenty of pad area for them to do what they got to do. Uh, then come in after the fact and and uh, go up the outside and uh, we'll try to cut this road down a little bit more. And probably go cut out another little section like up towards where the uh, Max Ferguson's and the skid loaders kind of like over at an angle over here towards this dump truck kind of shove it down here in this hole and help fill that in. And uh, kind of left, leaving it open right right now. Like I said, uh, I don't know when the, they'll be able to get out here to get it pinned down, but I'm going to try to come out here and meet up with them when they, when they do. And that way, you know, for something else they need or whatever. Um, but anyway, that's where we're at for now. And uh, as soon as we get get it figured out, get back over here and get it flicked up. Uh, I'll put you back on it. But thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.